Hello, this is Maybu with Han Van Life for the Young at Heart. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, today is time for a shower. Oh no, at least a hair washing. <laughs> and I've never done it. We've never shower from our van i say from because we're gonna do an outdoor shower today <laughs> it's not as glamorous as you think but it's gonna work i hope i've never done it before don't even know if this thing works but this is how it goes you get to be coming along with me <laughs> okay i'm gonna hand this over to keith and oh i'm gonna show you what what it is first so the strategy is this so first of all i have to do a warning, which is we don't know how much water we have left in the van. My guess, our guess is not much. So it's a terrible time to experiment with doing a shower because <laughs> you kind of need water. But I'm going to do it. And this is the outdoor shower from our van. Pretty cool, huh? Snick, slick. And it has cold and hot water. Never turn it on. So we don't even know what's going to come out of it. Oh yeah, we did use it once as a foot bar. And here's the free the highway that people will just drive by and that's the scenery. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, back to the shower. So my plan is to wet my head and collect all the water in there and then soap it up and then use that water to rinse it out and then condition my hair and then use the same dirty water to to um to rinse that and then the final rinse will get the good water so that's my plan to use as little water as possible keith has doubt good luck <laughs> go ahead you can you can <laughs> express your doubt even more <laughs> all well, right hope hold we the, have enough water for you hold okay the let's do this here we go it's really hot out here and it's in the middle of january no it's the end of january no it's february okay I probably don't even need hot water right now because it's so... Oh, I'm leaking. Uh-oh. Well, I probably left a washer out. Sorry. Oh, well, I don't have much water to, to leak. See? Van life. Oh, but now hot water is coming out even though I turn on the cold water. It's really hot. Okay, I got almost a cup. So that's enough to... my heritage <laughs> being an immigrant boat person really comes in handy a lot of times because we can do make do with less easily what you thinking my love how's it going i'm thinking i hope you got enough water on there than a cup of water just now. Yeah, well, that's awesome. That's impressive, huh? Very. I know. Quite amazing. Meanwhile, you can show them the scenery. Look at that painted rock behind you. Oh, the graffiti rock? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now the rinse off and then the conditioning. Well, it's getting brown, it's getting creamy.
You want to see the watercolor? <laughs> oh, that's nasty. It's not nasty. I'm sure it can get worse. All right, let's not gross them out. Okay. Oh, my, my black shirt is really hot. It's like burning. Oh. Yeah, well, this is the first of a bunch of nice days in the desert. What's the degree right now? Uh, I'd have to. I'm not sure. It's in the 70s. Oh, it's hot. Hey, Siri, what's the temperature? It's currently 64 degrees. Oh, no way. It's a lot warmer than that. Well, under the sun it is, but on the other side where it's shady, it's not that, that warm. Well, they're taking the temperature at 29 Palms, which is uh, 30 miles away from here. Okay. I and feel well conditioned. Now we just have to hope for enough water. We will. Well, I'm gonna rinse a bunch of it off with the dirty water and then I'll just re-rinse it with the... My question is how am I gonna get cold water out? I'm gonna collect it in this cup first. This leakage is really bad. Yeah, I'll okay. So are you learning anything about these desert shampoos? Uh, I'm just using my regular shampoo. Yeah, but I mean the process of using this outdoor shower and bucket and all of that. Well, I mean, this, this was so intuitive for me. Um, and I, I'm kind of excited that, look, I can wash my hair with two cups of water. And now this is my third cup of water and I think I'm going to get it done. Imagine, imagine what life is like when we use less. Are you learning anything? Yeah, check the plumbing before we use it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you didn't think we have enough water to do this, but we do, right? It appears that could be the case, yes. But you're using dirty water on your hair now. I am. I'm just trying to get the last bit of the conditioner out, and then I'm going to do one more cup. Why don't you just hold the uh, nozzle over your head? 
Well, because right now the hot water is really hot and I'm not getting any cold water, so I don't want to burn myself. Oh. Oh, so I think the thing is reverse. Hot is cold, cold is hot. Okay, now this is the last one. So, I have successfully used four cups to wash my hair, and I have long hair. That's impressive. Whoops. Don't hurt yourself, darling. <laughs> Van life hack. Have Where? a shower outside. Oh, shoot. Where's your towel? Right here. Oh, oh here's more hack. My, my fold-up tool. Tool. That comes in so handy for so many things. It is, and it folds up nicely. It's a yoga tool. And now it's... Yay! I'm so excited. My hey, Mike. Clean again. Well, we still have to wash down there, but I'm not going to do that on Facebook. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be banned again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I'm so excited. I feel, I feel so proud of myself for being able to wash my hair with four cups of water. Ciao. You stop it.